PG&E told shareholders this week it expects to pay $1.15 billion for the nearly million-acre Dixie fire. Action News Network reporter Danny Mastin shows us how the community is responding to this. People I spoke with have mixed reactions, especially with the anniversary of the 2018 campfire just six days away. Now, I spoke with a campfire survivor who tells me she is not surprised the utility is suspected of starting another wildfire. It feels like a continuous IOU letter. Like, it's just continuing IOU memories, IOU summer, IOU your homes, IOU stability. For campfire survivor Jess Mercer, the sound and sight of these flames from the Dixie Fire hits too close to home, as well as hearing about PG&E being hit with a payout for the Dixie Fire. How can we be put back into feeling that we're safe within four walls? How can I be put back to know that I can afford groceries or propane to keep my belly full and my home warm or my space warm? Um, and where's that money going towards all the education loss from our kids shifting schools? In 2020, PG&E agreed to pay $13.5 billion in damages to wildfire victims. Now it is expecting to pay $1.15 billion for the Dixie Fire. PG&E sent me this statement saying in part, quote, we are working every day to make it safe and make it right, both by resolving claims stemming from past fires and through our work to make our system safer tomorrow than it is today. Our hearts continue to be with everyone who was affected by the Dixie Fire. After going through much devastation during the campfire, Mercer has one message for those affected by the Dixie Fire. Let's learn from the past. We can't fix it, we can't change it, but let's look to our neighbors and reach out with that empathy and see what we can do to help each other. PG&E say the cause of the fire remains under investigation and it believes their actions around the time of the Dixie Fire show they are a responsible operator of their electric system. The Dixie Fire burns for three months and is now 100% contained. Reporting in Butte County, Danny Mastin, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Total, the Dixie Fire burned over 1,000 buildings.